Welcome to the Valley of the Old Farm, Sussex Farm, Crossover, Episode 1, with me, Mr. Sealy P. I'm here on the Valley of the Old Farm. Confused? Don't worry. Stick with me. It will make sense in a minute. Just found this old cellar. Didn't realise it was there. There was all stuff piled up in front of it, um, under the house. And I found some important documents. Some stuff that's going to be very, very relevant to what's going to happen next. But before I do that, just need to explain a couple of things. If you've been vol following my Let's Play on the Valley of the Old Farm. Um, a few things have been done. You'll notice in the top right hand corner the money's gone down by about a million pounds. I've transferred that money into an auxiliary account. Um, a kind of walking around money I believe they call it. You never know, just in case kind of thing. Um, so that's been moved out of the bank account. Uh, if we go and have a quick look into our growth. Everything's growing very very well. Um, soil composition, if we take off the ploughing bit is all looking okay there's some fertilizing that will need to be done in the next growth stage on field 60 uh, 69 75 um 81 might need a little bit of work as will 63 which i bought recently but everything else is planted everything is seeded everything is ready to go um i sorted out all my hay and straw i also sold as you've seen just at the very start i sold the um uh, the wool that I had here, we had a great demand, so I sold the wool. There's some more on the go here. That's all going fantastically well. So, uh, Wombleways Wool and Wear has had some more delivery. They'll be very happy with that indeed. Now, as far as the straw and hay, uh, the straw and hay, the hay and grass goes, I'm up to about 520,000 litres of grass and about 600 and something thousand litres of hay. I can check that, of course rather than just guess uh, what was I up to 638,000 litres of hay that's looking great until my wheat fields and barley fields are ready I'm not going to have any more straw on hand that's good but what I've also done is the fields that I hadn't cut I took the grass I cut it I collected it and I put it into the bunker silo for silage I believe if I remember correctly I've got about 600,000 litres in here that's all fermenting the whole reason I'm telling you all of this is that everything is ticking over nicely here on the Valley of the Old Farm, so I thought I'd take a bit of a break. I thought I'd have a holiday. But fate has intervened, and in that little cubby hole underneath the house, I found an old family tree that Great Uncle Godfrey had put away in a box of things. Turns out we're not the only farmers. Great Uncle Godfrey owned this farm, which I inherited. It was in a bit of a state and needed some work. It turns out our family have been farming for generations all over the place. In the UK, along the south coast, Kent and various different places. So I'm going to go on a bit of an exploration. I'm going to go and find family, I think. Or find traces of family. I might not actually find family themselves, but I can find out a little bit about the family history. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to head off. I'm going to jump in a plane. or whiz over to Blighty. And... Uh, check things out south coast here we come bit of a busman's holiday probably but we'll see how we get on so i'm gonna leave everything here in the capable hands of my workers my staff my loyal employees to look after things while i'm gone it's only a short trip just to hop over i'll be back and i'll carry on over here when we're ready for the next fertilizing state checking on the animals and making sure that um, the harvest goes off without a hitch. I do need to buy a new harvester. I've been saying that for ages. So this will be continuing. I shall see you on holiday, I guess, is the best way of putting it. I guess it was no real surprise, was it, that I was heading to Sussex? I would imagine. <laughs> the thumbnail probably gave it all away at the start anyway, but never mind. Um, a couple of plane journeys, one across 
and we landed at Shoreham Airport on the south coast of the UK. Interesting fact about Shoreham Airport, it's the oldest commercial airport in the UK. I didn't know that. Got a fantastic Art Deco building at the airport, part of the old building. Um, wonderful, wonderful thing. Um, but I was struggling to work out how I was going to get out here. Right on the edge of the airfield. Sussex Flying Club. Pop my head in the door. Any chance I could thumb a lift. And there were two guys flying out here. They come here quite regularly, apparently. Who offered to give me a lift, which is very kind of them. So, I mean, I did pay them. So they offered to give me a lift. I paid them for the transportation. I have hired a vehicle, which I've been told is going to be here. And I'm going to have a bit of a whiz round and see what's what and where things are. While I was on the plane, I did a bit of Googling. And it turns out, looking at the family tree that I've found, looking at bits of information I've found about the south coast of England, there's a place in Kent called Seal. Not far from that, a place called Rotham, where the family all come from, apparently. Along the coast here, a little bit further in Sussex, they've been farming as well. Apparently farming goes back a couple of hundred years in the family, which is quite impressive stuff. I didn't know any of that. Now, what I understand locally, what I've gathered on the internet, there's a road named after the family, which I'm going to go and see first. There's hints and clues and stuff all around this area, apparently, of the existence of the family. So I'm going to look for it. it sounds like the Mafia, doesn't it, really? I'm saying like the family. Um, so that's what I'm to try and find. Anything I can find, any information at all about farming, where they farmed, what they farmed. I think, if I'm not mistaken, it's along this road, through the town. You'll see when we get there. Anyway, I'm going to put my foot down. I'm probably going to get in trouble now as I drive into the town. I'll see you there in a moment. So according to my sat-nav, there's a fruit and veg place just here on the right-hand side. Should be coming up on it now. Just after that, there we go, there's a turning on the right. That's the road I'm looking for. So, if I just pull in here... ...and jump out. This is the road I'm looking for. If I'm right, and I am, Seely Lane. Fantastic. So, there we go. First indication of my ancestors. How cool is that? I would probably also say, second indication is going to be that building right there. Seely E.G. Bakery. Awesome. I think I have to put put my head in the door, have a quick chat, see if I can find out anything else. Obviously, do a roaring trade. Plenty of pallets of stuff being sent out. Okay, right. Let's have a chat. See what I can find out. Well, from what I gather, from a very lovely sales assistant, incredibly helpful young lady. The bakery has been here for quite some time. It's had a few uh, facelifts over the years, but the bakery's been here at least a hundred years, if not longer. Now, what I also found out was the family have been farming this area for quite a while, mainly barley and cereal crops, wheat for the bakery, barley for a maltings. The maltings is down the road here, apparently, down Seely Lane, on the right-hand side. So the barley would go to the maltings, be made into malt opposite the Maltings, there's a brewery. Apparently, the Silly P Brewery. Very nice indeed. So, I'm going to check that out, have a look and see what's occurring there, and then we'll see if we can find the farm, because apparently some of the family are still farming here. Is that? Maltings on the right-hand side. Okay, so what we've got here, grain silo, building, I assume that's the maltings then. Fair enough. Other side of the road is the brewery. No signage. Got some silos at the back. Signs are blank. Doesn't look like it's in use at the moment though. Okay. Well. We've had a look. We found Silly Lane. We found some 
evidence at least of the family. She's given me some directions. I'm going to head out and see if I can find the farm. I think I need to go right then left, I think. Roundabouts. What oh, joy! It's a lot of traffic. Looks like it's going to be a nice day though. Sun's out. Signposts are very, very handy. Right, I'm just going to go right here, I think. And then left here. Yep, left here. Just see over to the left hand side of the farm. That's where I should be heading. Up this main road, towards the radio mast, take a left before you get to the petrol station. Petrol station's just up there on the right, so it's got to be here. Sussex Lane. It is. Okay, we're in the right place. We are in the right place. This is exciting stuff. We're here. After flights and gathering information and talking to people. So let's see. What is here? Who is here? Well, after a lovely chat to a lovely old gent. That lovely old gent turns out to be great uncle Godfrey's brother great uncle Henry although the farm isn't being operated as it was it has changed a lot what a lovely man um, they haven't got as much machinery as they used to have they haven't got as many fields as they used to have they do still predominantly grow barley he did say just have a look around have a wander take some pictures Looks like they had a big setup here at one time. There's a few bits of machinery knocking about. We've got a tractor over there. Water tanker. We've got a few animals, but not very much left anymore. I wouldn't say it's been run down. I think they've just had a lack of business. Nothing to sell. Or nothing to sell. Product to sell, but no one to sell to, really. I think they relied very heavily on the brewery down in the town and the bakery. They're still selling a bit of wheat, but not very much. And from what I gather, he's struggling. His sons have moved away, don't live here anymore. Don't really want to do any farming. He does what he can, but he's struggling with that as well. Blimey, there's bales in the fields. Straw. Assume is that grass or hay? There's bales everywhere. Now... He's given me a bit of a hard sell, I'll be honest with you. Pulling on the old heartstrings. Not making me feel guilty, but just making me aware. You know what? It's a family business. It's been a family business for hundreds of years. They've asked me if I'll help out. They asked me if I would help out financially. Which I don't mind, it's family. Family I didn't know I had, but now I do. But what I think I might do is help in both ways. I think I'll help out financially, and I think I'll come and do a bit of work here myself. I think it's time to expand the Valley of the Old Farm and take in a second farm. 
in a different country and run them both. I think that's what I'm going to do. Right. Mind made up. That is what I'm going to do. Oh, I didn't notice that. Just a good trailer. Cool. There's not a lot of equipment, to be fair. I'm going to help. I'm definitely going to help. I'm going to come and do some work here. But we're going to need some equipment. We're going to need some stuff. I'm glad I put that walking around money in my bank. Sensible move that, don't you agree? I think so. Um, now, what do I need? I need equipment. Probably, to get me going, I need those bales off the field. They are going to just get up. They'll be a mess if I don't get those sorted out quickly. We need planting equipment. We need all sorts of stuff. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take this back to the higher place. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm going to go back to the airport. I'm going back to the Valley Old Farm. I'm going to go back. I'm going to sort a few bits out. I'm going to get on the phone to my... Uh, my transport company. KJ Wiggums Trucking. They're a great bunch. They do a cracking job. I need some machinery moved. That's what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to move some machinery, maybe even some animals, from the Valley of the Old Farm to here. So I can bounce backwards and forwards. It was only about an hour's flight. That's shorter than some people's commute to work every day. Right, back to the airport. I've got work to do. While I'm doing that, I'm going to get on the old dog and bone to KJ Wiggums and let's see if they can help me out with some vehicles Tell you what, those boys from KJ Wiggums don't hang about, do they? Negotiate a good deal, got a couple of low loaders, got an animal transport vehicle. They're going to take some equipment, they're going to ship it, get it over to Sussex, hopefully get into the docks. I've got to decide what though. Cows, I'm definitely taking. I've made the decision. Sussex Farm, I'm going to get the brewery up and running again. I want to try and get it going. I'm going to start doing barley. I'm going to get some more wheat into the bakery. I want to get the, the brewery up and running. I'm going to do something a bit controversial with that. I'm going to try a different sort of beer. Sheep I'm going to keep here for the time being. I've got some sheep there. But there's no reason at any point why I couldn't transport some more over. First things first, let's get some cows. I'm going to take some cows with me. So... I'm not sure how many this, this takes actually. What does this take? We're about to find out. So let's load. 14. Okay, that still leaves me 101 cows. That's not too bad. How many do I have? 112. So I had, oh, I've had a few more births. Fantastic. Okay, right. Confirm. So we've got 14 cows. That's step one. I'm thinking Sussex Farm needs a tractor. Uh, they've got the case, but they only need a slightly larger tractor to get themselves going. And I realised I haven't really been using, because I've got the quad track which I might actually replace I've got the fence I've got the small little one over the hill there I've got the truck I've got the terra variant I've got a few I think I think 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 I think the T8 I'm thinking the T8 yeah right let's get the T8 on one of these and if I need to get all those bales off the field I've got an option of I'm trying to kill like two birds with one stone. Got on. I'm trying to kill two birds with one stone. So, if I take the 
take the telehandler. That's all well and good. I want something with a bit of oomph to do a few jobs. I'll tell you what I'm impressed with. The 435. I might take the wheel loader. Because I know on this farm, because of how well I've done so far, I've got the Scorpion King. Oh, I could take the Scorpion King, couldn't I? I don't want to do logging straight off the bat, though. No, I'm not. I'm going to take one of these. I don't want to take anything on it. I don't think I am. Like I say, I can always get a bit of uh, contracting work for these guys moving stuff backwards and forwards as I need. It's kind of like running running both farms as a, as a farm estate kind of thing. Both at the same time. Now you're also going to be asking, well, what about Oakfield Farm? You're running that one too. That's kind of a separate Let's Play. That came off the back of the West Coast, so I, trans I transferred from the West Coast to Oakfield. That's a separate entity. This is going to be run as a kind of farming concern, I think. Yep. We'll load up. So I can still use the Joskin three points tipper for doing stuff here, and I've got trailers and tractors I'm going to take this this will come in so handy so handy if I can get the Kotec forks to the front of it I can do bales with it it's not going to give me a huge reach but it's going to be fine for what I need plus any silage work stuff around the yard I think this is quite a the multi-tool I think we'll use it as let's get this in the back as well that down onto there perfect I think that's it for the time being we'll take a tractor, we'll take the wheel loader take the wheel loader bucket I've got money in my pocket so if I need to buy them, I need a cedar and plough and stuff like that but I can sort that out 14 cows, they can go as well Hats off to KJ Wiggum's trucking. They do seem to have an impressive fleet of vehicles. So. Let's move some gear.
thought I'd collect the eggs while I'm over here. It's all been a bit of a whirlwind. Just having a bit of a breather. The guys from KJ Wiggum's Trucking have done an absolutely amazing job getting the equipment over here. All in one piece, without a scratch. Cows are delivered, they've been put in. I need to take the vehicles off the transports and then they're going to be heading back or heading off to the next job, wherever that's going to be. Um, I need, before I do anything, I need a trailer and I need um, front forks uh, for the wheel loader. I've purchased some um, and apparently there's a guy up the road where am I? That direction, I think. A farm called Plumpton Farm. Now, the guy up the road at Plumpton Farm is a bit of an entrepreneur. A bit of a silage king. The man is a grass man and he cuts grass and he mows grass and he... Anything to do with grass, he's your man. If you need silage, he's your man. If you need silage bales, he's the man to go to. Um, his name's Adrian and um, he's also got a little scrapyard up the road as well apparently uh, so yeah all very very handy um, I think my forks are up the road there at the scrapyard apparently Adrian's the man to ask about um, a trailer where to get one best price that kind of stuff so what I'm going to do is jump up, drop off this, uh, this bucket I'm struggling to speak today and I don't know why. It's all very peculiar. I'm going to drop off this bucket, drop it or drop it? I think I'll drop it off. Uh, let's just put it here for the time being. It doesn't really matter too much. I need to get these animals fed um, because I'm acutely aware they are incredibly low on everything. But I also need to get the bales off the field. I don't think the trailer hitch on this works. Just see if I can hook up to this tanker maybe give them some water to be getting on with I don't want any of the animals dying I don't think it works I wonder if that would take that rear weight that you can get anyway never mind right let's go and pick up the forks and I can start with that get to know the locals make friends with the nearest neighbouring farmer I'll get the T8 off the back of the other wagon and uh, KJ Wiggins trucking can get on their way. Across a dodgy junction. I think cause I'm sat quite a way back in the cab on this. So just at the end of this road is his farm. We'll make ourselves known that they're pumped to farm. I believe we own this field here. That's ours, so we're gonna be up here quite a lot I think. Getting to know him pretty well. Ah, oh, there we go. Silage and the silage bales. They weren't joking, were they? Let's jump out. See what kind of operation he's got going on here. Okie dokie, what have we got? An old New Holland. Chrome Big M. Lowly. Is it Tigo? What's that one called? Lonely Tigo. He is the grass man. They're not joking. Right, let's have a quick word. Ooh. Little workshop. Doesn't look like anyone's home. Well, there is a large gold nugget on his dining room table. I'll leave that where it is. Right, I better go and grab these forks, I guess. I, I don't want to... I don't want to step on anyone's toes, but there's nobody here, so... Let's 
see what kind of goodies he has in his little scrapyard, shall we? There's the forks. Slurry spreaders. Ah, ah. That might come in handy. Might come in handy. I wonder. I wonder, wonder, wonder. Does it have straps? It does have straps, doesn't it? I thought we'd use that to collect bales. Right, I'm going to grab these forks. Try and see if I can find the number for him. Give him a bell and work out a bit of a deal here. Because that might be a cheaper alternative than uh, buying a trailer to put the bales on to start off with. <clears throat> I have got money, but I don't want to go mad spending it. I need to get back and sort, sort these animals out, I think, as well. But that's the first step. Forks collected. I'm definitely going to be using these a lot. Let's think about getting these bales put away before the weather changes. Before they start to rot, before they do all the things that bales love to do when they're left out in the open. And let's get these animals fed. The wheel load has just been dropped off down by the field, by just past where the little dairy part is, the cattle barn. Um, it's worth pointing out, I think, a disclaimer, a legal disclaimer, which will appear on the screen in a moment. Uh, Regarding the vehicles you start this map with, these are not the vehicles you start the map with. That much I think is obvious, but it will go up on the screen. As with the contents of the silos, etc. This has been set up as an ongoing farm, an ongoing concern, and has been prepared for this Let's Play. So I'm sure I'll get people messaging me saying, those aren't the vehicles I've started with. Um, why have you got different vehicles? How have you got different vehicles? How have you got bales? I haven't got bales on mine. That's because I've spent a bit of time setting this up ready for this Let's Play. Um, so that's a bit of a... That will come up. Now. There we go. Right. So, let's jump into... T8. this put away actually I won't get this put away might as well get this straight to use now as I said on my second look video Jimmy is beavering away furiously getting stuff sorted out for this map uh, he is aware that some of the triggers are very narrow he's working on triggers for feed and various different things. The water one is in here, isn't it? There is water in this. It's not full, but there is water in it. Is the water off? Okay. Is that it? Oh, it's just the pigs. I've only got five of those. Hardly surprising that was it. Sheep out in the field. Where's the cow one? Is that in the field? That just here. It's them done. Put them in the sheep. Okay, that's what I'm talking about. There you go, the wheel load is just there. That's ready to sort all these bales out and get them off the fields. Let's go and take this to the sheep. Now, as, well, as far as I'm aware, Great Uncle Henry, or Farmer Henry, as it refers to be called locally, has done work on this farm for years, added things, taken things away. Escape work. I like the fact you've got bits either side so you can actually walk through if you need to. Hopefully, the sheep can't get out of those gaps, I'm sure they probably can. But Oh, how's that?
beehives up on the hillside there. Lovely. They're going to work out very, very well. Let's decide this little thing. Wait for the trigger to come up. Uh, the trigger hasn't come up. Okay, that's odd. Okay, right. There we go. Just in case, get in the right position. When it's got the right position, it works perfectly. Right, that's all the animals watered. Now to get some feed for all of them, bedding and all that kind of thing. Before I can even think about doing anything with fields. Well, I do have some barley in storage. That's already here in the farm on the farm, in the silos. Take your pick of what words you want to use there and rearrange them into a sentence that makes sense. Right, that's that. Right, let's actually check the animals. What are we looking at? Okay, cleanliness is good. Health, 77% across the board. Is that low? I wonder if I've made a mistake again. No, because we started off with them, didn't we? They were already in there. So that should start increasing anyway. That's fine. Okay, right, ignore that. Uh, water's done on all three. Hay, grass, straw. The straw bedding, right, that's the next thing. I'm pretty sure we've got... Well, there's the wheel loader, but I think we've got... Pop that there. A Veltra? It's a Veltra. Let's jump in this. And we should have up on here some forks somewhere. I think. The shelf here. There we go. There's a weight around here. Let's grab that. So I'm pretty sure we've got some bales by the side of the uh, <coughs> the feed areas. Now pigs I'm going to keep at five, if I keep them. I might not keep them, I might get rid of them, sell them for meat, that kind of thing. We'll see how we go. I don't really want to go many more. Let's see if this goes into this trigger here now. It has also been reported that apparently those triggers won't let you put loose straw in. It has to be baled. So that's going to be an interesting one. Uh, not that much of a problem to do some baling of straw to be honest with you well, apart from the fact I probably don't own a baler is that it? not take any more oh apparently the pigs is full oh ok right well let's take that for later don't really want to leave that in the open either though that we put somewhere, I think. Let's check the cows. So what I'm going to do is carry on sorting out the animals, get them all fed, make sure they're all okay. Then we'll start looking at getting all these bales off the fields. We'll get that done. And then I think we'll start looking at crop work. But first, sort this out, I think. We probably. There we go, it's one. Maybe we'll take both of these at the same time. Can I get them both picked up? Probably not. Let's try, shall we? 
it's a lot of weight in one go, but so I might get away with it. Can't be full as well, surely. It is, it's taking the whole bale. Okay, well, I can take both of those out. Okay, well, anyway, so that's what we're going to do now. The next jobs are going to be those things I've just said. Um, I hope you found this first episode interesting, fun. It's just supposed to be a bit of light hearted kind of entertainment, a crossover from the Valley of the Old Farm into Sussex Farm, running both as a kind of ongoing concern as a joint farming venture. So there may be movement of vehicles between, there may be also, I don't know. Whether you like that concept or don't like that concept, we shall see how people's feedback goes. You may not have enjoyed this, you may not. Have, you might have found it a bit silly or a bit daft, whatever. That's entirely up to you, you're entitled to your opinion. I hope you've enjoyed it, that's my hope. Um, if you have, give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest, whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.